The International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women is a day set aside to create awareness on the dangers and errant and female genital mutilation, x-ray the progress made, and chart the way forward. The Stop Cut Project seeks to promote the effective implementation of laws and policies that protect women and girls from female genital mutilation and increase community engagement and advocacy towards ending FGM. The Ohio State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Taiwo Ladipo, said, A lot of work has been done to put an end to the practice of FGM in Ohio State, stressing that there has been appreciable progress. We seem to have been a bit, a bit more ahead of other states, but you have to understand that Ohio State, compared to other states in the Southwest, has the largest population except Lagos State. And um, with that, you would understand that there is a lot more going on behind the scenes that we need to put our efforts towards and getting the better out of it. So for now, we will still continue with whatever interventions we have been putting together. And we hope that we will be able to get more people to be aware of this. And then we'll be able to make them understand that there is no gain doing this to a girl child. Yet parents and caregivers to join ends with the government and other organizations to ensure the protection of the rights and health of women and children. Perhaps when these laws are put together, the pathway for implementation should be sorted out with it in the first place. Uh, I can give e examples of several laws that have been put together, lofty ideas, but then Issues pertaining to implementation enforcement is left behind when those laws are being promulgated. And I think for now, that is perhaps a way to look at and then think of what to do in the nearest future. Also speaking, the chief executive, AC Health Initiative, Rhoda Robinson, described FGM as an harmful practice. We are also launching a research done by the organization through the Stop Cut Project um, to end female genital mutilation in Oyo, Ekiti and Oshun states, the three states with one of the highest prevalence of female genital mutilation in southwest Nigeria. She maintained that the goal is to end FGM by year 2030. We have seen um, some positive results in ending female genital mutilation. However, um, we have also recorded um, uh, a decrease in pace of this um, progress, especially with 2020's um, COVID-19 pandemic, which also contributed to an increase in the rise of female genital mutilation, as well as a drawback in the different progress that we pro um, processes that we've already initiated. Um, in the research that was carried out last year, um, we some states such as Oshun um, recorded a decrease in the prevalence. However, we also have other communities that have recorded increase in prevalence of female genital mutilation. So we still have a long way to go. Oyo, Ekiti and Oshun State have high prevalence of female genital mutilation. As part of activities marking the event, non-governmental organizations and key stakeholders engage participants to amplify the FGM advocacy as well as increase awareness on the prevalence of FGM. Anu Akomalafe, IETV News.